Welcome, this is Danny Chivabrishan reading for um, the Harry Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, shares, and support. Um, um, <laughs> it is the last week of um, July 2000 and uh, last week... <laughs> Of July 2018 and I want to say thank you for the wonderful uh, support okay so what do we have here the energy of this week it is uh, um, the energy of the heart and the zodiac energy of fire which is wonderful um, that is good with the energy of fire because um, it's gonna be a positive week for you Aries okay So um, whatever the situation is, um, there is going to be a positive outcome so, um, for this week, this um, end of this month. Okay, what do we have here? The Four of Cups, some regrets on Monday. What are this, these regrets and why do you have these regrets? We're going to be looking at them. So you have an emotional um, Monday for some people, um, for the women, not for the men. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Who is this King of Pentacles? And uh, um, what is what is going on um, with the regrets of the King of Pentacles? Okay, um, let's figure that one out also. And then we have the Page of One. So news is coming. The news is coming from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, and um, this news could be over a child, or this news is uh, that you are going to be thinking about things as you are going to go further or not. Okay, so it could be that you're dealing with this person. This person could be your partner, and you are going to be really thinking about if. Um, you're going to go forward with this person, whatever the situation is and whatever, because you have some regrets with this person, okay? And you're really um, going to be really, really thinking about it. There's the energy of someone who is uh, um, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Some of you are going to have... Uh, um, a connection with this person of that sort of a thing is as if some of them are going to be um, whoever this person is you're going to have to be dealing with that person okay um, but uh, there is going to be an upheaval from an end okay all right a collapse of something um, whatever this is there is coming an end to it. Um, whatever that was happening is a collapse of something, and it has to do with someone who is, uh, um, who is an, um, who is an Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. And now you have the two of pentacles. You have to really make a decision. You have to make a decision what it is that you want to do. You really need to make a decision. Okay. So we have the energy of the four of cups. Some regrets. And it has to do with someone who is an... Um, a lady who is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So you really, really have some um, regrets. Really have some regrets about this person. So let's see what is happening. Some regrets about this person, these two persons. You really have some regrets about these two persons. Who is this Knight of Pentacles? And, um, and why do you have regrets? You... Are deciding that you know there is there is more that is going on more be, between the the eyes that is going on with this Knight of Pentacles. Um, somehow you're not trusting this Knight of Pentacles. Somehow you think that this Knight of Pentacles is, um, you know, has a lot of 
um, hands in the in the fire. You know, whatever he is doing is as if he's working everyone from all different sides. Okay, he's really working everyone from all different sides. Anyway, he's gonna call. Um, you're gonna be receiving a message. What is this message about? Um, some regrets. Okay. This message is going to be about some regrets. Either you're going to talk to him or he's going to um, let you know something that is going on with your child. Okay. Um, so uh, whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is, is going to be informing you of a situation that is going on with your child. Okay. And what is this message that is going to be coming up? Because you're going to be looking for inner wisdom and guidance for whatever the message that is going to be coming up. Um, the seven of pentacles. Um, you need to work on the situation. It's as if you are, are going to be needing to um, basically find in the inner strength um, to... Um, get more um, money to work on the situation whatever that is happening okay who is this um, who is this person who is this um, queen of swords and what is the end that is coming who is this queen of swords and what is the end that is coming whatever the conflict in situation is okay between these people because obviously there are some conflicts that is ha happening between these people, okay? Um, it's coming to an end. It is coming to an end. So um, it's as if um, whoever this queen of um, th 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 this person is, whatever the conflict is, it's coming to an end. And it's coming to an end um, very fast. Let's see. What is the ending with a child? It's as if some of you are married to a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and there is an ending coming to a child because there are some regrets about some situation that has to do with a child. And you're going to be victorious over the situation, okay? Um, you're going to be extremely victorious about over the situation because whatever that has transpired you're going to be overcoming the situation okay there is something with a child that he has to have balance okay it's some balance and you're thinking about how um how are you going to be dealing with this situation how are you going to deal in with this balance and um this is if you're going to decide okay um you know, I'm going to stand my grounds and I'm not going to let this child walk over me. I'm just going to stand my ground and let you know exactly where you are and how things are. But I'm, 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 I'm just not going to turn my back, you know. Who is this queen of swords and why is there coming an end? Because this could be a, um, a situation with a friend, a heartbreak. Heartbreak, okay, heartbreak. Whoever the Queen of Swords is, there is an outbreak. Um, whoever she is, is not really a nice person. Okay, this 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 lady is over forty, and she she's an old lady. And whoever she is, she has a connection to do with um, the king, the the um, see. There's a message that is coming and, you know, it's as if you want to move with ambition, move forward, move out in your life. But whatever the situation is, it's as if, as if you're stuck, but you're not stuck because you're going to move out. You're going to um, start um, realizing that you are um progressing forward not, I would not even knowing that okay so as we look at the energies um there's some regrets some of you have connected with um someone who is an aquarius gemini or libra 
and you, you know, you could be finding out that uh, your partner, your husband is having a relationship with this person, that your husband or partner is having a relationship with someone who is an um, Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. You're going to be having some regrets. OK, and it's the ladies and it has to do with the ladies who are married or in long term relationship. You are going to realize that your your partner or your husband have been having a relationship with an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. And because there's a lot of emotional upset and disappointment that you um, felt and you're going to be heartbroken. You're going to be very much heartbroken. The king, king of hazard is here um, and he is going to want to end a situation that has to do. Um, I'm not seeing this person has his son. I'm seeing this person as uh, um, your child and it's as if he wants to like end the situation, like don't have anything to do with this person. He is having some regrets about this child, okay? And, you know, it's kind of sad because what I'm picking up is that this person also have kids. So why would he want to have regrets about your kid? Whatever the situation is, kids are kids. Kids do things. But you're going to overcome this, okay? It's as if he said, yeah, and you're always giving out money and he's always getting himself and problems and that sort of a thing. And... Uh, you know, you're feeling as if, you know, um, why does he have to be like that? But whatever the situation is, you're going to decide um, to leave it behind you and look forward. And you're going to be moving out of this, this situation because you have to make a decision. And the decision is that you're going to be choosing between your husband and your son. OK, and. Uh, I don't think anyone should be placed in that position to choose between your husband and your son because, um, you know, it's like choosing between the devil and the deep blue sea because, you know, um, you can't choose between your relationships. You can't choose someone else and that sort of a thing. So here we are looking at this and you have to make a decision. And I would say don't make a decision because um, people need to learn to live together. Okay. Whatever is happening, um, you're going to be working on yourself because I'm seeing the hermit coming up. You're going to be looking inwards for inner wisdom. And as you look inwards for inner wisdom, you are going to make a decision um, to decide to leave all of that behind you and move forward. And this is going to be good. OK, um, Whatever the situation is, is that he's getting upset with you because you found out about this relationship he has been having with someone else, okay? Oh. And it's amazing how when people shit gets out, how they can blame other people for it. But, you know, <laughs> um, I always say if um, everyone stinks, so, you know, why are you blaming him? Because obviously you can see here that his information came out and he had to bring the relationship to an end. So he is hitting on your kid, you know, and not to worry because this you're going to be overcoming. There's a lot of sadness in this week, whatever the situation is, and it's not going to affect not everyone, but there's some sadness because, um, you know, realizing that your partner is having another relationship and that sort of a thing, it hurts because obviously, you know, he wants to be with someone else and it kind of hurts. And then he's going to go on about your son. You know, that's another thing too. So let it go because you're going to be overcoming all of this. And this week is just... Um, uh, change your life, change your life. So sometimes it is just the universe and the angels saying a sudden uh, revolution that offers freedom, break free from procrastination, um, embracing the opportunity that changes bring. OK, so if you find out that your partner is um, cheating on you or there is someone else, it is just that the universe is coming in. 
the energy of the tower comes in so they're saying to you basically this relationship should be ended it should not have been in the beginning okay this is this is all that it is saying twice the tower is saying that this relationship is not uh, um, the relationship is not uh, um, a healthy relationship and um, you shouldn't have been with this person in the beginning but anyway um, the universe your angels and guides are protecting you and you're going to be overcoming the situation okay three of ones is also here twice um, the three of Ar Archangel Gabriel and it says prosperity arise from wise planning time to take um, time to take the next step optimism a plan that run out as expected okay that run that runs out as expected so this is good and this is three times because it's equivalent to um the three of ones so this is good so um you know prosperity arising from good planning so some of you could be receiving extra money in this week and you're going to be needing it and I would say to you basically um you know if this man wants um, to move on give him let him go let him go let him go if he wants to move on if he or she wants to move on let them go Archangel Raphael is here nine of Archangel Raphael make a wish dreams become a reality a joyful time of life okay so whatever the situation is in this week all you need to do is to make a wish dreams become a reality a joyful time in life and you just need to call upon the angels and guides and ask them and make that wish whatever the wish is whatever you need to um yeah, to happen you know we can do it together we can call upon Archangel Raphael um to grant um the um the Aries people and the latest whatever the situation is grant them the wish um so that they can see the situation and they can just um end the situation and move forward okay all right king of Archangel Michael the energy of the king of Archangel Michael uh, participation um, rationalization ambition and respect okay so the king of Archangel Michael is here and the, the king of swords and it says wisdom objective are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honesty and open communication okay a situation that call so this is obviously that somebody is cheating and somebody needs to speak the truth I don't know but I think in this week a lot of the signs receive this honesty and open communication okay somebody needs to speak the truth people need to speak the truth whatever the situation is because if you found out that your partner has been cheating on you I think that he should speak the truth okay and if you are cheating on your partner and he founds out you should just speak the truth outcomes for your money is going to be wonderful okay so ace of Ariel is here it is your lucky day new resources or of money time or a support a change in a job or a promotion okay so a new job some of you are going to be um, receiving a new job at the end of the month changing jobs that some of you are going to have extra money coming in uh, or extra time and support okay promotions is also here for you guys so this is wonderful so with art break you're still moving forward um, this is a good 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 positive um, situations to move forward uh, with even through um, you know impossibility of the things that has been um, transpiring by you but you're taking it you're str you're taking the stride one day at a time and this is good okay you're taking the stride one day at a time and this is good so um, have no fear about what is happening okay um, it's a really wonderful spread so I wanted you guys to see um, the spread because it's truly a wonderful spread okay I want to wish you Aries a wonderful wonderful time I mean, 
um, and I'm hoping and wishing you guys the best okay namaste